Fertile. And perhaps not exactly what was intended. like a point in the juniors league. Both guys just pushing backhands to the other guy's backhand, trying to stay away from the forehand, and Blake capitulated just miserably. I mean, this shot, he has time to rip this cross court. I just feel like open up the court to attack into that backhand. Blake looking unsure of how to attack that point. And Labonsi able to get through his service game. I think Blake really let him off the hook there. I mean, some chances to get in, play a deep approach, or hit the ball hard cross court. And then once you hit cross court, then you can attack into Labonsi's backhand because his forehand is a solid shot. You know, Leif, uh, I'm not sure if it makes any sense, but and, and I don't know whether it's that Blake is a bit nervous, or he, he looks a bit jaded almost. It looks like he's not quite as energized as you would expect him to be in a situation like this. I think we've seen a number of matches that James Blake has played, and in many of them, we feel that Blake bumps up against that, that self-doubt, that belief that I, I deserve to be in the semifinals of a Master Series event, that I deserve to be in the late rounds of a Grand Slam. You know, I know that you and I both feel in some way we're, that he's not completely convinced of how good he is or how good he can be. Well, the results will bear that out. He has reached the quarterfinals of one Master Series event that was in Rome on clay a couple of years ago, as well, of course, as here. And in email. So that, I guess that makes two quarterfinals. Now, it's a magnificent sight, this stadium at night. Of course. This enormous stadium at the end of the desert, it really stands out, the bright lights of the stadium, and of course, the darkness of the desert surrounding it. Yes, there are homes and resorts and things happening nearby, but this is certainly the brightest structure. But not after 8 o'clock. <laughs> in the surrounding area, everyone's uh, normally in bed here. City folds up the sidewalks early here in Palm Springs. likes the look of that point for deep volley from James Blake. Well, his best shot has let him down now. Behind in the score. Suddenly, this point here, significant in how this match may turn.
suddenly Labazzi is at a set off. Very deft return up the line, and Blake coughs up the air, and we are at one set all. Final ten. So the man from Tbilisi, Georgia, although he spends a lot of his time in Vienna, Austria. Irakli Labadzi has grabbed the second set. He'll start it out in this third and final set. Blake's forehand has just completely left him. He's hitting with a lot of heavy topspin, and that's not what wins him points normally. A bit of concern in the Blake camp. Wow. It's a fantastic second serve angle. You don't see those often. Now the struggles with consistent play continue. Perfect example there, the ace followed by the double fault. If he can take anything positive from this, he's at least dictating play. more like it from James Blake. He has looked in, over the last few games completely confused. Almost as though without his massive weapon, that forehand, he doesn't know how he can win points. can't understand why that ball's going out. It's, it's a horrible feeling, Leaf, isn't it? When you, shots that you would normally make nine out of 10 times, you're missing consistently. And it looks like he was up in the air when he hit that forehand. Just pressing a little bit off that wing.
close game in the final set. Well, Blake's volleys really letting him down. And that, that's a very makeable shot. Just, he didn't open up his racket face. It looked like he played it pretty flat. And I just feel like James Blake is a better volleyer than that. But I think he's sensing some real pressure and perhaps. Once again, the big serve setting up Quite a simple forehand winner. Yeah, that is a very good second serve. High bounding. Again, Blake just caught leaning a little bit to the backhand side, a little late getting over to the forehand. from Blake and Labazzi solid on his own serve he's up 2-1 <laughs> 